Welcome to Fishing Dorset Live. Right, there we go. Totally descaled this time. Obviously, made mistakes last time, but I'm not a professional. I'm learning as I go. What I'm going to do now... Food scissors. I'm going to take the spines off the back like I did last time, just so you're getting stabbed when you fillet it. Then I'll start putting it into fillets. All I'm do is I sort of towel, towel dried it off. Look at those absolute beauties when they get in your hands. Scissors. Oh, they are really tough. Look at those. They really do hurt when you catch. All right, now for the second one. I've sort of towel dried the fish as well, but they're still a little bit wet. And I'll go for the tail, go down the tail and pop them off. That's the back spine off that one. Right, that's it. We're good to go now. I'll get my knife out and then we'll start getting into the fillet, guys. Just with my heads. All I've done, just drawing off the tail, just so I can hold it without slipping everywhere. But they're nicely dried off. Let's get that in a bin. And we'll get ready. So once again, have a go at filleting. Obviously, I haven't got a filleting knife. All I'm using is the old fishing knife. Right, what I'll do, I think I'll do exactly the same as I did last time. Just into the tail. Find the backbone. run the knife down the back hopefully I've done this right this time it's hard to show it on camera really trying to control But slow and steady I guess. I obviously want to do this fish justice so I don't want to leave anything behind at all. Obviously I'm learning as I go. It's obviously not the sharpest knife in the world. I did give it a quick sharpen, but... But that backbone's... I always seem to I struggle with one side of the bass. I don't know why. It's just always seems to be one one side I really struggle with. That's a really
there we go it's not the tidiest but so I always struggle with one side that is a beautiful fillet guys absolutely beautiful fillet right let's go to the other side same again into the tail down the backbone again see some people do this really quick but just take your time that's all I can say guys just take your time just trying not to get the backbone left behind I don't know why a bass is always seems to be easier one side than the other. Could be me. Try not to. Probably I'm making a bit of a meal of this, guys, but it's. I don't find this the easiest thing to do. Try not to waste any meat. Well, so this one's taken a bit longer than the last one I did, that's for sure. Because this, this knife isn't the best knife. Right, I think I've done it justice. There's a little bit of meat left on the bottom which I will take off. But I have. Now I've got an absolute beautiful fillet. That's two nice fillets. I'm just going to trim the fins off. But there we go, absolutely beautiful. I think I've done this fish a bit of justice. I'm gonna get straight into the other one, I'll wash my hands, clean this up, and then I'll start on the second one, guys. There we go, beautiful. Right, let's go on to the second one. Let's see if we can make it a little bit better. I'll have a quick break, have a quick tie up of all the bits and pieces, and I'll come straight back. Right, welcome back. This is the bass I had probably about a month back now. Um, all I'd done was tin fold it, shrink wrapped it and then put it in the freezer till now. So this is one we had four beautiful fillets. Obviously JD's bass from the other night has now gone into the freezer to replace this one. So JD's fish, there's two beautiful fillets, whereas my two bass, I've got four fillets from. What I've got going on, got the old new potatoes in there, which the wife's put on the boil. We're gonna have runner beans, which is just steaming now. And we're gonna go for a bit of parsley sauce as well. I'll do exactly the same prep with the bass. I'm gonna use garlic butter. I'm gonna pan fry this. I don't like oven fish. I only like fried fish, which I'll do in olive oil and garlic butter as well, with salt and pepper added. Hopefully you enjoy this. Another catch and cook, guys. But yeah, it's all on the go. Obviously I'll do the parsley sauce when this is all pre-cooked. Obviously the fish doesn't take that long. And yeah, I'll show you the end product as well as we go. 
What I've done now, I've just turn the new potatoes down now. They can sit there and settle. Run of beans, beautifully steaming there. Just about to start on the homemade pasta sauce, guys. Look at that, homemade, straight out of a packet. Beautiful. So what I'll do, I'll just put a little bit in there. 300 mils of milk. Get myself a little spoon out. Nothing like a homemade packet pasta sauce. And then what I'll do is I'll add, I'll add the rest. Obviously this ain't easy to do this one handed. Stir that in. Add a bit more milk, like it says. There we go. Pop your teapot. Stir that in. I absolutely love parsley sauce. Then what I'll do is I'll, I'll warm that up, bring it to the bowl and turn it down to a simmer. So let's fire that front ring up. All right, that's the parsley sauce. Gonna get warmed up. All right, the old parsley sauce is just coming up to the boil now. Got to keep stirring on it, otherwise you're going to get massive lumps. And I'm sure my wife and my son will moan. Obviously they don't want to be on video, guys. It's, it's up to them. So I'll probably get their voices and their comments. But this sauce is just starting to come up a nice creamy. And what I'll do as soon as it comes to the boil, I'll turn that down. And then what I'll do is I'll start the fish, start cooking the fish. Obviously it's the last thing to cook. It doesn't take long. Right, there we go guys, that's coming to the boil. I'll obviously swap ring. I'll swap that over in a second and I'll put it back on the lower heat ring. And obviously that can um, start simmering picking itself up on its own and just turn the heat up a little bit. Oh there you go that shows I don't know the cooker. <laughs> oh yeah look at that that's beautiful sauce. Beautiful. Right guys I'll let that simmer and I'm going to bring you back so that I'll start on my bass. Obviously this frying pan's quite thick, it takes a while to warm up. Oh look at that, lovely garlic smell. Beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cook my wife's and my son's fish first. That way it doesn't take so many um, pans up, guys. Just let that just cool down for a minute. Right, I turned the pan down a little bit. Obviously, I've done it too hot. Right, what I'm gonna do now. Look at that. That's a cracking fillet. That's one in there. One in for my son, and I'll give my son half of the other fillet. Let's get the heat going again now. I just didn't want to curl that fish up with too much heat too quick. But there we go. That's the bass on. I'll add salt and pepper now. You just have to bear with me, this is not easy one-handed. So I'll add a bit of salt. If it comes out. But the grinder's not going to work. Right, just had to change my salt container, guys. 
Right, what I'll do is just put a little bit of salt. Obviously, it's only, only a little single hole spout on there. Right, and then I'm going to go in with black pepper. That smells and is cooking absolutely beautiful. They're quite thick fillets, I didn't want to cook it too fast, otherwise it will just stir the parsley sauce as well while that's simmering away. I'll put the spuds back on. That smells absolutely divine. I'll just turn that fish up a little bit more. Get a spatula out. But yeah, these are absolutely beautiful. Fill it. Right, that's fine away. I'll bring you back as soon as I flip him. Right, what I've done is the fish has cooked half free. I've not fed her with it, I've just left it cooking. I'm going to flip it over now and then it'll cook the other half as you can see. Look at that, beautiful. Nice crispy skin there. I don't think that's over cooked. I think that's absolutely perfect in my eyes. I'll let that cook right through that side now and then we'll start fishing up. Right, what I've got to do for the new potatoes now. Put two scoops of butter in there. Put the lid back on. My food's just right behind me. Put the lid back on, heat that back up, let all that butter melt nicely into those potatoes. Everything's looking good. How much do you want, babe? That's enough for me. That's enough? Yep. Okay, I'm not the same. Obviously, I'll say bye ones till I'm ready to eat. Obviously, I've got to cook my fish next. Right, let's get this bass out. Trying to two pairs of hands. And obviously my son I'll have a bigger portion. Out of the new potatoes and the butter. Get my quick stir around. How much you want, babe? That's enough. Is that enough, Kate? Okay? Yep. Where do you want your parsley? On the side. What side down there? Yep. Right, how much do you want, babe? Yep, that'll do. And Karen won't have any. Well, Karen don't want past me, huh? No, you won't like it. Right, there we go, guys. Beautiful bass, fried in garlic butter, new potatoes, finished off with butter. Runner beans, homemade packet parsley sauce. You don't get better than that. That fish looks absolutely perfect, guys. Right, I let my wife and my son get into that, see what they think, and I'll start cooking mine. 
Right, that's the wife's plate. Naughty, naughty, she's left her greens. It's just the skin left there, and, and I think she had one or two bones that wasn't too bad for me first, well, second cook now. So she's happy with that. And my son, obviously he doesn't want to be on camera, guys. He's munching that. <laughs> Go on then, Keith, give us an honest opinion, not son. Bad. Not bad. Not bad. Just a few, few bones. A few bones, yeah. Other, right. than, other than that, pretty spot on. Sweet, nice one. Right, my dinner's now cooked. I split my bass when I flipped it, so I've got two halves, but there we go. Beautiful. And I sit down and I'm going to start chowing on that. Right, let's get into it, guys. Bit of extra salt on there. This looks absolutely beautiful. Let's go for a bit of fish. Look at that, cooked. That is perfect. I'm definitely Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Look at that, guys. You can smell it, you can taste that. Oh, that is beautiful. Mmm, beautiful. This bass is beautiful. Nice battery, new potatoes. Only a couple of bones in my son's and my wife's. Bit of fish that wasn't too bad going, not bad at all. Mmm. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful bit of fish. Guys, see, I'm not going to sit here and film the whole lot, guys, because I'm going to be here for a little while. It's a big old fish. But with that parsley sauce with it as well, it's absolutely beautiful. If we had spare vision, guys. Hmm. Look at that. Flakes, absolute flakes. There you go. One really little small bone there. Gotta say, if I was in a restaurant, I'd be happy paying 70 quid for this. Beautiful. Right, I'll bring you back when I finish, guys. I need to start tucking them. What can I say, guys? That was absolutely beautiful. I had a couple of little bones, nothing major. Lucky you can feel them, but there we go. One empty plate, just the skin left there. But, hope you enjoyed that, guys. I, I won't be doing a, um, another bass cack, uh, catch and cook. Um, obviously, I've done them now. So, obviously, I'll try different fish if I get the bigger fish. So, I'd appreciate it guys, if you're watching, you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. I think that is worth the effort as well. Oh, blimey, full right up. But yeah, like and subscribe guys, leave a comment, tell us how you like your fish cooked. That, that's perfect the way I've done it. So just a quick flashback. I cooked the bass, garlic butter only. I fried it on skin side first, got that skin crispy never touched it just let it cook see the meat cook halfway through once i saw that i flipped it over and basically you can gauge it from there that bass was absolutely pucker new potatoes cooked drain of water knob of butter in there stir it around put it back on the cooker let all that butter melt on those potatoes and obviously run of beans straight in the steamer all a piece of cake wife son happy I'm happy, hopefully you're happy. Catch you on the next one guys, thanks for watching.
Geil.